Hello guys, welcome back. We have been busy. Oh, have we been busy? We've been busy making a load of axes and a load of cosplay stuff. If you guys haven't already checked it out, this one here behind me is something from last summer. This summer, I've been making something a little bit different. We have been making the God of War's axe. I still need to paint it, guys. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you which paints I'll be using as. We've already made the small one, or little, and this is large. If you can check out the polymer clay make of this one, guys, go and check in the playlist of all God of War content, or uh, in the all polymer clay coming soon. There's more polymer clay makes in the future, so don't forget to hit subscribe for that. But, like I said, we've made this. This is completely wood. This is a handle is made of wood. This here, the axe is made of PVA and paper towel and loads of other stuff like just leftover paper. The shape that I got, I actually used um, pizza and um, pizza scissors. You already go buy a pizza from the shop or whatever, and uh, you get you get the bases always come with it. Well, that's what that's made of, guys. Um, I don't think I've done too badly. Hopefully, uh, you also agree. Um, it took a couple layers for this. Again, I showed you every part of this and how I made every part of this uh, for you guys to check out. Even I've made a pummel, as you can see here, made it out of tin foil. Uh, it is in the shape or as close to a shape of a tiger or something like that as possible. Uh, that one, again, it was sculpted. Uh, I didn't show you how to do that one. That one is just sort of me playing around something. Um, in the in the evening, I was like, oh, what can I, what can I do with a pummel? I'm just going to put some tin foil in there, and then over time, it slowly, well, to be honest with you, this showed me itself. I started scrimpling, scrimpling, made some ears here, and um, this mouth sort of looked like a tiger, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to yeah. really try and sculpt that. So I got my sculpey tools that I would use for uh, polymer clay and started poking at it, and yeah, and lo and behold, it turned into a, a tiger. It is very flimsy, but it is a cosplay, so it's not going to be used for anything great. It is eventually going to go off on my wall. Um, I did do, uh, I might go on my son's wall, might be in the hallway, I'm not sure yet. It might even go on, on the back wall here, so I'll add it to the, the back wall. I do want to do something different like I did for my son's wall, um, where I painted his wall in the God of War, hence this is the idea of doing the God of War axe. Uh, let me know in the comments section, guys, if you think I should change my back wall from when I'm streaming in the games. Uh, I will paint it, um, but I kind of like all the pictures that I've got up there. As now, because I painted all those pictures myself, apart from the yeah, frame Spider Man, the rest are all mine. Um, yeah, I want to know what your thoughts are on them. On that, uh, as for painting this, um, it, as you can see here, guys, it was very, very flimsy. So, what I had to do was uh, just like uh, tie it all together with a bit of um, cling film because I have no string because <laughs> I've used it all up on my polymer clay makes for the Thor's hammer which I'm trying to sell so if you guys want to go and check them out they uh, are available to buy over on Instagram my name again is Blute084 B-L-U-T-084 Art and Games if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and check that Instagram out if you want to get yourself a Thor's hammer give me a second and this one here is a Thor's hammer I have uh, put um this is my prototype. There's where the string went. This is a magnet, all magnetated. There's the stick on your fridge. So if you guys want to check them out. So, right, same with this axe here. Uh, it is will be available on the shop soon. If you guys want to go and check it out. Available. If you, if, you, if you want to check out how to make it yourself, you can check out the playlist. Again, all God of War uh, content for anything that God of War like. Um, yeah, there's the thing. That's what it looks sort of looks like. I get it further back. There's the whole thing there. There is slight size of balls. It's around about the same size as his axe. The only thing I don't, uh, I think I need to do, is add a little bit more to the the sharper edge. But I think if I add any more now, it's just gonna it's just gonna start falling apart again. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, as for the um, bits here that's holding up together i have an idea because i'm going to be spraying all of this in my chrome paint so let me quickly grab that one for you i'm not going to do it here guys because that's me still glare gold paint um 
Yeah, I'm not going to do it in here, guys, because it is spray paint and I need a ventilated area, so I cannot show you uh, me spraying it, but I can show you what paints I use. This here, uh, not a sponsor, but this here is the spray that I use. It's really, really good. You can use it as a primer as well for using fungal clay. So if you're going to use, if you're going to put, like, um, like I said, I sprayed all that up, and that's eventually what it'll look like. That is super chrome. You can see there. So that is what that will look like, and that's what's going on this axe here. Again, like I said, on these pieces here, the, um, what's it called? Clean film. I'm going to leave that there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this T-shirt here, because I don't use it anymore. No work T-shirt. I'm going to be cutting it up and uh, making, well, that's a name brand, you don't want to see that. Um, been cutting that up and putting it over this as string and around the base here to uh, cover up all of this. I was going to paint it. I thought to myself, why am I going to paint it when I've got cloth? I want to make it as close to cosplay as possible. So that's what I am going to be doing, guys, with this paint here and with that cloth here. Um, while I'm here, quickly, I can probably cut you up a few bits to show you what I'm going to do with that t shirt. This is kind of a blog. I've already kind of showed you each step or each stage um, already. Definitely worth yourself checking it out. So I'm going to take off the what do you call it? collar. Yeah, I'll take off the collar here. So as I'm looking at the collar, I'm thinking that will work quite well. That'll work quite well with. Uh, that'll work with, um, oh, what am I trying to say here? Around the base of the handle for a wrap. I'm not going to wrap it today. Well, not now. I will later. Um, and I'll show you again when I've completely finished and what it all looks like towards the end. And when I'm finished... So don't forget to hit this subscribe guys and ding the bell so you know when I've uh, finished and uploaded. Uh, or if you just want to check it out and you don't want to watch the video because it'd probably be a short one, you can go over again to Instagram. I post everything I get up to over there. You never know what I'm not doing. So if you don't feel like watching the videos, I totally get it guys. If you're not a maker, if you'd like to see what I'm getting up to, definitely go and head over there. Wow, these scissors are hurting my hands. Oh, yeah, I'm glad the rest of the t-shirt's not this thick. Because these scissors are not as good as they used to be. Nearly there. Nearly there. Ah, right. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'll put this strip. Let's get that paint there. Move it, put this strip here. But when I do the wrap for the um, top of the Axe and all like I've done for the stuff that I've got already. Um, uh, there's a wrap here, and you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just wrapping it around, and that's basically what I'll be doing. As uh, I might move it down slowly, and have it as a um, I'm gonna have to get some string, I think. Um, go around, there's like a handle piece there for you to hold on to. Um, but yeah, that's what that's, that's what that's going to be. Uh, we're going to cut this t-shirt up now. Again, it's an old t-shirt. Most of the world working. Don't work for them anymore. So, haha, that t-shirt is going to be cut up. I don't work for anybody anymore. I work for myself. Best I ever did. Right. Ah. Look at that, straight through. 
Cutting down the seam of it, guys. I want to cut down the middle. You never know how much you're going to need. I know exactly how much I'm going to need. More than I'm giving myself. No, that's what I need it for. Yeah, cut down the middle. Cut down the seam. Again, guys, I don't have, most of the time, I don't have anything to deal with, and I just sort of go, hmm, what can I build that with? Hmm, I know, this. Ah, I'll go with it. Hmm, that's a go with it, too. It's all crap from around my house. Always crap from around my house. I never, I never do anything that, uh, I never try, well, I try not to do too, too much expense when I'm building cosplays. Not all that. All for the effort. I think last year I got a uh, first place on craft and carnivals and things. I go to. Well, I'm just going to take. Oh, God, uh, that's interesting. Right. Okay. And a colour strip. See what it ends up being because it's got cut off there. So I'll cut that off there. See what it looks like. I've got loads of cloth left, so we'll see how that works. Cut your bugger. Now right. now I've cut a strip off, as you can see here, from the bottom of the. Uh, out a bit it's a bit short right again with the wrap I'm gonna go up around it like so up around it and then tie it at the bottom like so I'll be wrapping it like that guys let me wash the machine um for wrapping it like that but for now I need to spray it up that's what I'm going to be doing, guys, with that spray paint. Keep tuned for all the rest of this. I will share as much as possible, and I will come back in the next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe, ding the bell, and click the links that will appear. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.